Uh, so, uh, hard right Israeli MP stormed the controversial detention camp. This is the whole rape story that they were talking about uh, yesterday. Uh, protesters incensed by arrest of nine Israeli soldiers over alleged abuse of Palestinians held at Ste. Timon. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Like I said, we'll have this up later in its full form. So, uh, hard right of Israeli MPs. Uh, <laughs> hard right Israeli MPs. Uh, yeah. You have a few screens. This is radio. Yeah, pretend it's radio for, for a minute. We can't do anything about the internet. Sorry. Uh, so hard right Israeli MP stormed a detention center on Tuesday in protest at the arrest of nine soldiers over the alleged abuse, alleged abuse of a Palestinian inmate. Uh, the MPs from Benjamin Netanyahu's ruling coalition broke through the gate at Ste. Timon facility in the Gev Desert alongside dozens of activists. The detention site run by the IDF has been at the center of controversy in recent months after reports of severe physical abuse of Palestinian prisoners since October 7th. Um, yeah, so uh, Minister of Heritage Amiha Ben Eliyahu uh, from the Jewish Power Party and Zvu Sukkot from the Suck it. From the religious Zionist party took part in the crowd's forced entry into the base. Uh, the people of Israel live. So yeah, uh, and here are these assholes. Um, hello. This is them yesterday. Basically trying to break out rapists. This is them breaking out rapists. <laughs> This is a base that, it's also a detention center. Several reports of uh, physical abuse of Palestinian prisoners there. Horrible things too, involving like anal rape with like broom handles and just disgusting. And these guys are trying to break them out. These are like hard, hard right creatures. Um, so yeah, if you didn't think Israel was bad enough, uh, if, if it's like, no, we want to, we want to keep our rapists free so they can keep, uh, doing things to other people. Uh, but you know, of course the state department, uh, here in the United States being the cucks that they are, uh, won't call it, uh, a war crime. Shocking, I know, right? So, uh, again, Dave DeCamp from uh, antiwar.com says, uh, State Department won't call Israeli rape of Palestinian prisoners a war crime. And uh, State Department spokesman Vedant Patel was asked if rape was a war crime. He said, I am not a legal expert. Um the State Department yesterday refused to label Israeli soldiers raping Palestinian prisoners as war crime, uh, said Arikat, uh, a reporter from Al Quds. Uh, Al Quds uh, asked State Department spokesman Vendant Patel about the Israeli soldiers who were detained for raping a Palestinian prisoner at the notorious Sti uh, team and detention facility. Uh, the Palestinian was transferred to a hospital with damage to his rectum that was so severe he could not walk. Uh, yeah, Rick, you got nice seats waiting for him down there. Of course. Uh, the condition of the prisoner uh, confirmed some of the worst allegations about conditions at the, the prison. Both Israeli whistleblowers and former Palestinian prisoners have detailed torture and widespread abuse carried out by Israeli soldiers at the facility. Um... Apparently, rape and killing and torture and all of this thing, it happens regularly in Israeli detention camps. Does that constitute a war crime to you, Eric asked uh, Patel. And Patel replied in the uh, bureaucratic way that they know how. 
Uh, so the reports of abuse are deeply concerning, and we have been clear and consistent with Israel and the IDF that they need to treat all detainees humanely and with dignity in accordance with humanitarian law. He added that the U.S. was going to let due process play out in the case against the Israeli soldiers. Another case of, uh, you know, the police policing themselves. You know, they do that here in America, like, Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna totally look into that, and uh, the the guilty parties will be punished. Wink, 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 wink. 